Greetings all and welcome to part one of the Elliott Wave 101 course. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel then please do so and in that way you won't miss out on any future updates as more material is published. If you found this video helpful then please give it a like and don't forget to check out more course videos. I'm going to start by quoting directly from a biography about Elliott that was written by Bob Pretcher who was one of the authors of the Elliott Wave Principle which would be the most important book in any Elliottician's library. In 1934, Elliot believed that there were natural laws that governed everything, and so there were also laws that governed people and crowds in particular, and therefore the stock market. He believed that crowds went through emotional, emotional cycles from extreme pessimism to extreme optimism, and that the stock market reflected this crowd psychology. He also believed that smaller patterns composed the larger patterns, and that the patterns were similar. So when we look at a market, what we see is cycles playing out. And these cycles represent the crowd shifts. So we begin with cautious optimism, we evolve into growing optimism, and then finally we'll reach extreme optimism. Once price has gone too far in extreme optimism, the crowd psychology will turn into pessimism and price will correct the overly optimistic rise. The same thing will happen in a bearish market where pessimism will start and grow until the market becomes overly pessimistic and prices are sold down to a point where they're too cheap, at which point optimism will begin to grow and price will correct the overly pessimistic move. Elliot saw these shifts in crowd behaviour as waves and he thought of these waves as motive waves that move in the direction of the dominant trend and corrective waves that move counter to the dominant trend. Now Elliot noticed that within the motive waves a price pattern keep, kept repeating itself and he referred to this as the five wave pattern which looks like this. Looks exactly like this. And then he also noticed that within corrective waves there was a three wave pattern which kept repeating and it looked like this. So when Elliot examined these patterns under the microscope, he found that they were evident in all degrees and that they linked together to form larger and smaller versions of themselves. So what does this mean? It means that when we put these basic cycles of optimism and pessimism under the microscope, what we actually see is the five wave pattern in the motive wave, the three wave pattern in the corrective wave, the five wave pattern again in the motive wave. And it look, it'd look more something like this. And so as we delve down into the legs of, of this motive wave, we would find that within here we have a motive wave, a corrective wave, a motive wave, a corrective wave, and a motive wave. Now if we place this same leg of this pattern under the microscope, we would find another smaller five wave pattern evident, which would look something like this. And then once again, if we took the corrective or the corrective part of the waves being this leg and put it under the microscope, what we would see is this, the three wave pattern which exists within the corrective structures. And thus, the whole five wave structure can be subdivided, important term, into a series of three motive waves and two corrective waves. It is this structure that allows waves to build upon themselves to form the progression which Elliot names the wave principle. So stay tuned for the next video where we will examine how Elliot labelled these waves. Thanks for watching.